Hello and welcome to day two of the London Bookshop Crawl. Today's topic is open for business, where we'll be talking about some of the bookshops that are still open, how they're doing, what they're doing at the moment, and here's what else is happening today. I'm so excited by all the events that we've got going on this week, including all of the author talks. We've been really lucky this year to be able to work with some great authors who have been giving their time up to help support bookshops. That includes Ronan Hessian, and who is the author of Leonard and Hungry Paul. He ha gave up some time to do a five quick things, and here it is. Hello, uh, my name is Ronan Hessian. I'm an Irish writer based in Dublin and I'm the author of Leonard and Hungry Paul. One thing I like about bookshops is the psychology of going into a bookshop. Uh, I love the way people automatically adopt sort of library rules uh, I love the way you can buy a book for 12 euro, justify that that's practically 20 euro. So the other eight euro can go towards uh, a second book. And if you get, repeat that process, you get enough loyalty stamps to get a free book after 10. And you can also buy a book for somebody else. And while you're at it, make up the difference by buying a book for yourself. So I like the kind of warped psychology that justifies the acquisition of books uh, as, as a contribution to culture, to the local economy, when really it's just all about making yourself happy. My favourite bookshop experience, I think, was uh, in London, in Waterstones and Tottenham Court Road. It was my first time ever doing a reading. Uh, it was about four or five months before my debut novel uh, came out. I'd never read it for anybody. Uh, I'd, only my publisher and editor had seen it. And it was a lovely welcoming opportunity to sit among many book lovers, people from the publishing world, other, or meet other writers, and to get a chance to read the opening chapter. Uh, and to stand there and fumbling around trying to turn the pages and a little bit nervous, but also feeding off the energy uh, it's an experience I'll never forget and in fact the guy who organised it, uh, who worked there in Waterstones Tottenham Court Road, I'm still in touch with him via Twitter and it's a, it's a fond, fond memory. My most exciting bookish find in the bookshop I still get very excited when I see books by people I know, by friends of mine or other writers I've come to know, people who I've known uh, who are working on their books, who had self-doubt about their books, about their creativity, who suffered all the nerves of putting out a new book and wondering what people will think of it. And then to go into a bookshop and among the thousands of possibilities to see their book sitting there and a knowing that somebody will buy it and will pick it up and admire it and enjoy the touch of it, the look of it, and bring it home. That's something uh, I get great joy out of. And I love taking photos and saying to people, look, I saw your book in a bookshop, as if that was the most unexpected place to find a book. My book recommendation for 2021, probably the book I'm most looking forward to, I think, is the, the forthcoming third instalment of the sort of septology series by Jan Fosse, the Norwegian writer. Uh, the translator is Damien Searles and they're being published by Fitzcarraldo Editions. The first two instalments, uh, The Other Name and I Is Another, were two beautiful books. And I think as the series goes on, it becomes uh, more meaningful for me. So the concluding volume is out uh, later in 2021. And that's the book I'm most looking forward to.
today's theme is open for business and one of the things that's been really inspiring to us over the last year has been watching the ways that indie bookshops have evolved and adapted new ways to reach customers um, throughout this pandemic. We'll be talking about this in more detail this evening in our discussion book selling in a pandemic. Uh, so head over to YouTube, make sure you check that out at 7.30. Uh, for now, we would just like to talk about a couple of bookshops. We'll be spotlighting some on Instagram throughout our day, and we just want to make sure that everybody gets lots of attention. So we're going to talk about a couple that we know are still open for business, still accepting your orders, and just talk about some things that we like about what we've seen of them in visits in the past and what we like about what they're doing now. Definitely. So who would you like to talk about, Rhys? So yeah, I'd like to start by talking about Walden Books. Uh, they're in Kentish Town. We've not actually included them on any of our guided tours before, um, but I went to Warden Books last year with with my with our two boys, um, and we went there just as a bit of a scouting mission to go and see whether it would be viable, whether it would work on a route. Just to say, we've only not included them because they're quite far away from a lot of other participants, and we just generally try to keep our guided groups in. Uh, close together areas definitely so and it's, it's also an area of london that i don't particularly know so hence going up there and there are actually three or four really good bookshops so hopefully in a future year it was going to be this year but obviously not now <laughs> um but uh we will include that as a route as an option um so yes there's there's warden books and there's also an amnesty bookshop which is around the corner which is an amazing charity bookshop when they're yeah, open they are they are closed at the moment but warden bookshop is still open aren't they, um, they are, they're yes. accepting orders so you can order books and they do um, rare antiquarian second hand of general yeah so last year i went up there with the boys and they purchased a few children's books there was a great selection of antiquarian um some very good um text books um yeah. i picked up um a book all about the history of Beatrix potter um and the boys picked up um a roll a roll doll book two roll doll books I think. yeah i think you're um, right and it was it's a really good selection and i know on their website you can call them you can email them you can go on the website and order through them yeah but um, i would suggest suggest if you're looking for something specific and something probably quite specialist as well yeah. you can give them a call um their phone numbers on their website so we'll have all, all the links to all the bookshops that are taking part on a, a page on our website. So I'll link that in the description for this video. Definitely. What um, about you? Oh, I wanted to talk about a bookshop I've actually never visited yet. I'm so sorry. They've been taking part since 2018 in the London Bookshop Corps and I still haven't been despite everybody telling me they're amazing. That's Pages of Hackney. Page, I know, I know. Terrible. They, they're on our Hackney route every year, I think. We've done a guided group there yeah. and everyone tells me they're amazing. It's a beautiful bookshop. The staff are really lovely. It's really well curated. You should go. And I just haven't made it. I physically don't have enough time. <laughs> and because I don't live in London anymore, I don't get there that often. But I wanted to mention them. Um, I know that they've won, like, Bookshop of the Year a few times, I think. Um, and their website is actually really impressive at the moment. So if you go on their website, they've got uh regularly changing like staff picks kind of they've tried to do the equivalent of what they do on the tables in bookshops kind of in website form which i think is really nice so you get like an eclectic range of different recommendations um different favorites and then you can obviously browse um by genre by author etc etc if you can't see what you want you can email them and ask them and in my experience with indie bookshops generally they're generally very responsive and helpful as they are in person um, so yeah, I would say um, head over to their website, check them out, uh, because it's a beautiful website, it's really well organised as well, really easy to use, which is always nice, a nice bonus. Definitely. Um, so yeah, that's Pages of Hackney and Walden Books, so the two we just wanted to give a shout out today. We basically um, are just trying to make sure you know about all the awesome bookshops, but as always, you can check out the big list, which does have all of those on there, and all the purple ones are the ones that are specifically registered for this year, so they're definitely, um, as far as we know, they're open. And I've put all the details in the big list as that's, to how you can order from them now. Yeah, I was going to say, and that's open, not in person, to confirm. Of course. Yeah, no, not in person. Some are open for click and collect, um, of which I put the details in the big list. Mostly it's online ordering um, or delivery. So Pages of Hackney are also doing a local bike courier service. So if, if you're local to Hackney, you can get someone to drop off your book on a bike sounds amazing um, but they're also posting nationwide as well so wherever you are like i can go and order a book which i probably will do <laughs> um so yeah and do let us know as always with the hashtag london bookshop crawl where you've visited online today um and yesterday what you've ordered anything that arrives take a picture use the hashtag let us know we can share definitely spread the bookish word do that in the hashtags do that below obviously you can do that in the comments absolutely 100 percent. let's and uh while i'm on that 
if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button, please. Yes, um, and feel free to share this video, please. Oh yeah, definitely. Please do. Let's plaster it all over social media. And uh, I know that Ronan get the books up there. Ronan's uh, <laughs> five quick things really well worth sharing. So if you uh, can do, mm-hmm. yeah, that'd be amazing. I loved his justification of if you bought one book, you might as well buy another one. And because yeah. I definitely do that every time I go to I was, a bookshop, it's amazing. When I was editing, when I was editing it, I was thinking, <laughs> hang on. That sounds it's like, just oh, but like this Becca. one isn't for me either, so that doesn't count. <laughs> this is for my children. This is for a friend. <laughs> I bought 14 books, but only five of them were for me. Definitely. <laughs> and one of them was free because it was like, a, I spent this much and got a free one. Anyway, I'm rambling. The point being, buy books, they're great. <laughs> you don't need to justify yourself here. It's a no judgment zone. None at all. What's tomorrow? What's happening tomorrow? Tomorrow. Tomorrow is Friday. Yes. Tomorrow, the theme is explore. So we're going to be exploring some of the further out bookshops of the city. Um, We're going to have some more five quick things. And in the evening, we have Ask a Bookseller on Twitter. Our hashtag for that is hashtag LBC Ask a Bookseller, um, just to distinguish it from other Ask a Bookseller events that go on. But we've got various booksellers coming along to that. So we've got a couple of general booksellers. We've got a specialist bookseller from the Atlantis Bookshop who specialises in magic and occult. Hopefully we've got someone from Gosh Comics if the kids go to bed on time. <laughs> uh, we've got a couple of other people. I think somebody from Mosaic Rooms is going to be there and um, somebody from the Calder Bookshop Theatre. So uh, lots of specialists, lots of general, whatever recommendations you want for books. Uh, if you've got any questions relating to bookshops or book selling or anything like that, come along and ask a bookseller. Um, you can also send us your questions beforehand. So if you're not able to make that time slot, it's 7.30 to 8.30 tomorrow, Friday the 12th. Um, if you're not able to make that, you can email us your questions at londonbookshopcall at gmail.com or you can um, send us a message on social media with your question and we will then feed back the answers after the event's taken place. Brilliant. Yeah, and I think that's it. So today we've just got Instagram spotlights coming up um, as we have done yesterday as well. Um, and we've got the five quick things videos, which obviously sh- please share away, share today, share yesterday's. We've got more of that coming up. And this evening you're going to be able to watch the um book selling video, book selling pandemic. pandemic video with yours truly <laughs> yeah although you won't see much of my face because we had a bit of a technical issue with my face <laughs> and there being a massive lag between my face and voice so you've mostly just got my voice and the face of the lovely oliver cable from word on the water <laughs> it's not a bad thing <laughs> it's not it's not a bad thing no i mean no one no one needs more of my face that sounded really, really rude your <laughs> face is nice too what am i'll I doing? be over here now <laughs> anyway enjoy the rest of the day bye <laughs>